in progress. Well, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is me, Tia Rogers from La Unique's Cafe Center. Um, my three minutes with Tia. And we're going to start. We left off talking about Keith Cameron Smith's uh, book and the three questions that he asked. And what the first one we, I want to look at is what would you like to spend your life thinking about? Um, our lives, we only get one. And, <clears throat> you know, our thoughts play a big part in the lives that we choose to live. But how do we stretch ourselves? And how do, do, do you really know the art of stretching yourself and what it will require and what you're willing to do in um, doing so? Um, do you know what a comfort zone is? Uh, comfort zones usually where, um, <clears throat> I'm going to define it as Mr. Peter Sage defined it for me. Uh, and he, he has it as a comfort zone is a false mental boundary, which would, which we maintain the limits of comfort and certainty. Out of this, we will experience discomfort because we release, release it is one of the biggest obstacles that forces us from doing less than what we are capable of doing. The story we tell ourselves about our events or circumstances provides us with an excuse to both define and stay in our comfort zone. So how do we get out of our comfort zone, guys? Um, if you are in your life and you're comfortable where you're at and you have done all that you feel as though that you could do with your life, that's fine. But for those of you that may be like me, that feel like they could stretch themselves a little more, are you open to a discussion of what, would, what do you spend your time thinking about? Do you spend most of your time thinking about your bills or uh, worrying about your job as we're all going back and um, we have concerns, but what is it that you spend most of your time focusing your mental capacity on? Um, a lot of things are beyond our control and we have no control over them. So when things are beyond your control, what things can you do to help motivate you and get you moving right along? There are several tips that I'll give you real quick and you can... Um, get involved in something new, something different, maybe an interest that you had uh, for some time or something that you enjoy doing that you might want to be a part of. Um, of course, that's not three minutes, but anyway, find something that you are interested in doing, something that's going to be fun and interesting to you that's going to take you out of your uh, comfort zone. Take a course. Um, a course is always good because it helps you to think outside of the box. And a lot of times when we are stuck worrying about our income or how we're going to do certain things, or maybe we're facing a family crisis, caring for a loved one and having to balance our lives at, at, at the same time, um, we don't want to get <clears throat> caught up into just the, the negative thoughts. We want to raise our vibration and we want to get to the positive thoughts. So that's my three minutes, guys. As always, I love you. Um, go for your dreams. We got this. Um, the only thing that beats a failure is a try. So do your best today. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.